Hello, my name is Ted Harrison, and it is Tuesday, January 13th, 2008. 2009. Classes started yesterday for the second semester here at Baylor University. And here are my syllabi from all my classes. Is that not ridiculous? It's like... It's, it's ridiculous. Dang it. <laughs> yes, now all those papers are all over the floor below me. It's Ted Harrison time. Friend of yours and brother of mine, it's Ted, Ted, Ted Harrison's blog. Clears the air and lifts the fog, it's Ted Harrison's blog. He's a hairy son. Today I went to the Slick, which is the gym uh, here at Baylor. I went and played some pickup basketball, and I've decided to uh, give you the ultra stereotype on the ball hog because I certainly ran into one today. The ball hog is the guy who every single time down the floor dribbles it up, shoots, comes back down the floor, calls for the ball, makes sure he's the only one who can get the ball, comes back down the floor, shoots again, and it just continues. Not only does he do that, but that rare occasion you do get the ball and you rebound it and you just take it down yourself because you know if you pass it to him, you're not gonna get it back. You get down there and you make a mistake or you make a pass that's not to him and he starts teaching you and coaching you on what you need to be doing as if you didn't know. Then when he finally makes a shot and gets to about the 5% range, he at that point begins to uh, get even more arrogant and to start coaching you even more. Just so much fun. And you know it's just ridiculous. When you finally, you're, you're standing underneath the goal, you are wide open, there is no one down there, you just happen to be at the right place at the right time. He's standing at the three point line with the ball, and he's kind of got, he's got like one guy on him, and he decides to jack one up from like NBA and beyond range. You're sitting there underneath the goal, and then you watch him shoot, and he misses, and you just don't even go for the rebound because you're just laughing at him. Then he comes over and gets on to you. Because of course it was my fault that he bricked it so bad it went back to half court and I didn't get the rebound. Also, when a player on your team uh, is cutting across the middle and it's just a horribly thrown pass by that guy and the, and the guy doesn't end up with the ball, of course it's because that guy didn't cut hard enough or he just had stupid hands or brick hands or something like that. It couldn't have been that the pass was bad. There's no way. I figured out something though, something that every basketball player who plays pickup basketball should know. The best thing to do is not, never to get raise your voice or get angry with someone. It's just to be subtly sarcastic with them and make them like just look ridiculously stupid because that's what really fires them up and then it gets funny. For example, after the ball hog throws the ball at your feet, you walk over to him and you say, Hey, um, my feet are, are having some trouble catching the ball, so if you could get it to my hands, I think they, they might do better. Of course. The ball hog, the only reason he's passed it to you anyway is because he's got four guys on, on him and he's about to fall out of bounds. That might be a little bit too sarcastic, so let's try and make it a little bit more subtle. Like when you're dribbling the basketball outside the three-point line on the side of the court, and he comes down the court and he's yelling for the ball. I want the ball, give me the ball, I got you, I got you, man, I got you, come on. It's just great just to turn, keep, the, keep your dribble, keep your dribble, that's important because otherwise it'd be a travel, but you just keep your dribble, you look at him, and you just stare. Like, like it's he's saying something, but you just can't quite make it out, and then you take the ball and do something else with it. Do this two or three times, and you're guaranteed to hear some great four-letter words. Now you ask, Ted, what do I do when the guy has shot five times in a row and missed every single shot? The answer is simple. You just find a time when you can kind of get near him and be, you know, where you, within talking distance, and you say, hey, you're 0 for 5. Did you take algebra? And you kind of let it just sink in for a second and then you just keep moving so that he kind of has to process that. Half the time he doesn't get it anyway because all he knows is basketball, ball, hole, hoop. Get it in there, that's, yeah. Let me know if you've had any trouble with ball hogs. I'm sure you have. If you've played in a pickup basketball game, more than likely you've dealt with one. So let me know and tell me if I'm not right. Anyway, I'll catch you later. Hope you have a great week. And so yeah, see ya. He's a hairy son.